Hey, this is Sahlevai from Internerf.com and it's time for another viewer request. You asked for skyscraper, so I've arranged skyscraper into a fingerstyle arrangement, especially for you guys and girls, and now I'm gonna teach you how to play it. But first, you need to know how it goes, so I'm gonna play it first, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs on the screen and everything. It goes like this. Alright, so this is pretty simple, even if it doesn't look like it, it's pretty simple, I promise you. Um, you've got five chords, four chords for the verse and the chorus, and one additional chord in the C part. You've got G, C, E minor, and D. Okay? And for the C part, you add A minor. Now, A minor this time is... Um, a half bar on five on the first, second, and third strings with the A bass. But we'll get around to the C part when we get to the C part. Let's deal with the verse and the chorus first. You begin with the four chords G, C, E minor, D. Okay, you can play this twice. It doesn't matter what you play here, as long as you keep this rhythm. Do 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 do. Okay, it's it's a uh, one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two. Okay, that's the that's the feel of the rhythm. As long as you keep that going, it doesn't matter which strings you play. Uh, you can play the bass note and the B string alone. On the D string, you can play the G string. So uh, on the D chord, you can play the G string. Okay, turning this into a D5, so it's... Okay, you're making a small melody out of the chord. But it doesn't matter. Um, I pick strings 2, 3, and 4 in every chord, except for the D chord, where I pick either uh, strings 1, 2, and 3, or I just pick strings 2 and 3. Again, doesn't matter, you do what sounds good to you, okay? Um, I'm showing you this so you can make your own arrangement out of this, okay? Um, you don't have to play exactly what I play, 
and I don't and I like to improvise while I play as well I'm gonna show you ways you can play um, play around with the uh, fills with the uh, with the chords so you play this for um, four times uh, you don't have to do it four times you can do it twice okay twice and then you stop for a second and then this okay that's the first melody line it's an open G string twice and then one and zero on the B string but between the one and the zero on the B string you play the G bass and then the open B string and then you fill in the G chord in any way you like let me explain G string one G bass open B string and then you fill it okay you don't have much time to fill it so you don't have to you can play this and it'll be fine you don't have to add any more notes okay um, it doesn't matter what you play after this okay you can play this or you can play or you can play doesn't matter play whatever comes naturally if nothing comes naturally just play the melody it's fine okay and you can harmonize the open B string with the open G string okay there are options no uh, composition is set in stone you can learn the melody and then play with it that's the way you become a better musician by experimenting with what you play that's that's why uh, my motto for lick and riff is create your own guitar legacy because i want you to make the arrangement i don't want you to play exactly what i'm playing so g bass open b string and then either fill it or don't And then again, same melody line, this time with C, the C bass between the C and B notes, okay? And then you can fill it with three more notes or don't, okay? Making this uh, C major 7 sound because this is C major 7. And then this, again, a third time, this time with the E bass, you put E minor on, now this time there's an ending to the melody line, um, 2, 0 on the G string, E, 2, 0. It's two on the G string with the D bass. Now you can stop there or you can fill the rest of the bar with anything you want out of the D chord. Uh, like this. Something like that. It doesn't even have to be all the strings. Whichever comes naturally, don't force out uh, the fills. If you want to pick, you can pick one note, okay? You don't have to pick three notes. Okay? One note, two notes. You don't have to fill everything. Okay? Try to figure out what you want to hear. The verse again, okay? I'm going to play it. Um, I'm going to play it a couple of times so you can. Uh, you can hear how it goes, and I'm going to try and fill it differently each time, okay? So you can get some ideas. G. C. E minor. D5. Sounded a bit 
forced to me, but um, the most beautiful thing is to play a uh, simple version, just this. <laughs> come through okay that's that's my opinion but it's my opinion right now if I play it tomorrow I might play something differently um, I don't know um, music is a live thing it's a living breathing thing it changes according to the mood so just let your mood in uh, affect your playing um, anyway that's the verse um, you play that twice now the rest of the verse goes like this. Okay? It's the B string twice, open, and then two on the E string, G bass, three on the E string. Okay? So it's um, B, B, two on the E bass, G, and then high G three on the E string. So, and then, mm, it's, okay, almost the same. It's the B string twice with two on the E string. Afterwards, then C bass and open E string. So, feel it or not um, and then okay the same uh, the same ending as before um, the, the usual line uh, with E minor with the E minor addition of 2 and 0 on the G string and then D5 Okay? The same ending as the previous two lines. So... Are you getting this? B, B, 2, G, 3. B, B, 2, C. Open E string. Uh, G, G. One, zero on the B string, E minor. Two, zero on the G string, D5. Okay, I hope that was clear. Um, again, you don't have much time to fill anything, so you don't have to. Um, okay, now, if you only use the C bass, for the C chord, uh, if you can, you can only use one finger, and just make sure you don't play the B string, and then you don't get a C major seven sound. And if you play the A string on three, and an open G string, and an open E string, that's a C chord. Okay, it's a C five chord, but you're outlining the C chord, so. Okay? That's a small trick. Now we're going to use that trick again in the chorus. So just E string, G string, and 3 on the A string outline the C chord. Okay? Um, you can use that. Um, okay, so we're done with the verse. Let's play it again. Zero D five. Okay. Now uh, you can either play on the D five. You can either play the bass along with the A note, or you can play the A note and then the D bass. Okay. So you can do this together or.
Excuse me? Uh, G note, three times. Three on the E string, three times. Now, use your pinky for eight on the E string, because then you need your first finger for the G bass, three on the E string, on the E bass, and then seven on the E string again with your pinky. So it's then five, then three. Okay, so it's eight G, seven G, five G, three G. Okay, listen. Try to play the G bass stronger. Um, ah. And then C with. Let's wait for him to finish. Uh, four. No, it's not your four. Okay, so it's C with your pinky on three on the E string. Okay, so again, eight, seven, five, three, C with the high G, and you play the high G first. Okay, so you play the E string, harmonized with whichever string you want, the B string, the G string, both the B and G strings. Okay, um, and then the C bass, and then, again, you can fill it if you want, you don't have to. So, I just play a C chord arpeggio, I just do this, okay, um, just the A string, D string, and G string, and on the G string I might harmonize with the B string, okay, that's all I do, so, again, 3, 3, 3, 8, G, 7, G, 5, G, 3, G, Three C and then three times uh, again the G note and then the same line with the E bass, okay? Because this is E minor now. Um, eight E, eight E, seven E, five E, three E. Got it? Now you can uh, play the B string and the G string along with, okay, because it's an open E minor chord. So, and then this. This is D5. It's uh, pinky on five, uh, second finger on three on the B string, and first finger on two on the G string. Open D bass, of course. And I just play five on the E string and again arpeggiate the chord. Okay, let's let him scratch and um, ignore it. Okay, so E minor. So that's the first line. G, C, E minor, D5, O. You've got this at the end. You don't have time for three notes. You don't have time for this. You have time for this. Okay, so it's, um, you just play D5, it's 5 on the E string, and then D bass, G string on 2, and then the melody line, the next melody line. It's 3, 3, 5, 3 on the E string. I like to slide from 3 to 5. You don't have to. And then uh, the G, uh, this G shape.
okay, and you've got a whole bar of it. As long as you just play the seven uh, uh, first. You play seven on the E string with your pinky, first finger on three on the uh, G bass, and you play the chord. You have an entire bar to fill. And then C. Yeah, this is the next line, so C. You've got two bass notes to play, and then three, three, five, three, again, with your pinky. Try to keep the C, the C chord ringing the whole time, as long as you can. And then eight, seven on the E string, this time it's the open E minor chord, it's, this, it's just this. Okay? And D afterwards, you've got an entire bar of E minor. And then two bass notes on the D chord, um, or the bass note in the chord. Doesn't matter which, whichever sounds good to you, as usual. Now, if you didn't get the E minor part, it's eight E bass and then seven, and you play the E chord, you're arpeggiated, and um, fill it in any way you find appealing. Okay, and then D. Again, in any way you want, you find appealing or appeasing uh, or pleasing to the ear. Um, but this is not a vocabulary uh, lesson. So, again, three, 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 eight, G, seven, five, three, three, G, C, three, 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 eight, E minor, seven, five, three, five, D, five. Three, three, five, three, seven, G, C, three, three, five, three, eight, seven, E minor, D, okay? And um, I don't remember what she sings. Um, I don't remember if she sings this. Um, I think the first time she sings... Okay? Um, and the second time she sings... So you can either, after the C... Uh, you can play 3-3-5-3 three, 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 or 5-5-3-7. Five, five, Okay? It's two variations of the same melody. Or... Okay? It's the same melody. Um, <clears throat> and you can variate, okay? Um, because she does. If you listen to the song, uh, Demi Lovato sings the, no sings the notes, the melody, differently every time she sings. That's Again, music is a living thing. She feels the song, so she sings it differently every time. Um, so that's what you do as well. You've got a melody. Okay, and you can play it. You can play it and vary it. You can also add hammer-ons and pull-offs if you want. Okay? If you want to do that. I don't, so... So I don't. Um, Okay, um, so let's listen to the first half of the chorus again without me talking. Yeah, 
you've got four notes, four eighth notes to play on the uh, D chord if you want. Again, you don't have to, you can play this. Wait for a second and then. Okay, this is a small variation. You begin the same way. Three, 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 eight, G, seven, five, three, five. Okay? And then the C bass, don't play the B string, just play the G string, uh, the E string, the G string, and the A string, okay? Uh, open G string, A string on three, G, uh, C bass, and uh, pinky on five on the E string, so you make this, this, um, it's C6. It's not C6, it's, a, it's not this chord, but technically you can call this C5-6. Chord names, uh, let's not get into this right now, uh, let's call this C and get it done. Um, so, okay, you just play this. So three, uh, so five and three on the bass, G string, and five again, and that should be enough. So, and then this again. Okay, it's exactly the same uh, as before. E minor, five D five, and then. because this is very simple and I, I think I overcomplicated the explanation. Uh, again, this is just uh, a solo on the E string. This is all it is. It's just like the first part of the romance of uh, the Romanza. Um, this... Okay, it's just a solo on the first string. Um, so as long as you separate in your head, as long as you separate the melody from the chords, everything should be fine. Um, because in finger style, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to keep the chords and the melody apart in your head. I think I overcomplicated the explanation, but I think it's really clear because I've got the tabs um, down here and um, you can see what's going on. Um, Again, the second part. A, the G, seven, five, three, five C, without the B string. Three, 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 eight, E minor, seven, five, three, five D, three, three, five, seven, five G, three, Five, seven, eight, E minor, seven, D. That's it. Um, it's four chords. It's not like you've got a friend in me where you change um, a chord and you've got like ten chords in the song. It's four chords. It's a pop song. So um, I really hope that I didn't confuse you with all the additional fill it in any way you want explanation, okay? And if I did, I'm sorry, watch it again. Um, and um, I'm sure you'll get it because 
you're intelligent. Um, anyway. Oh, yeah, that was right. That was out of tune. Um, hope you didn't hear that. Um, Alright, so the entire chorus again. Now the C part. Um, three, slide it up to uh, to five on the E string, and it's better to do it with the first finger because you uh, need the bar on five. So why not slide it um, and bar it right away? Okay. So it's don't play this. Don't play 3-3 three, three, and 3, just play 3 on the E string because this is G minor and since the song is in G, uh, this will create a dissonance and you don't want that, so... Okay? Just A bass, 3 times. Pick the chord in any way you want um, with the E string as your melody. And then, okay, it's 5-5 five, five on the E string, 8 on the B string, and then this. E minor with 7-3-0 on the E string as your melody. then zero 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 on the E string um, and then this is that right no it's um then it's C um, shaped like the uncomfortable G uh, so it's C with 7 on the E string because the melody again is 7 3 0. Uh, so it's. It's this. It's 7 3 with the. 7 with the C bass. You can again harmonize with the G string. And then change it quickly into a C chord and pick 0 and fill in the C chord. Now you can play D uh, again, um, or keep it on C. But I think D leads better into it. I'm, I'm not sure there's a D after the C in the original song. So if you want to keep <clears throat> to the original, just stay on C. If you want um, an arrangement, Add the G, uh, the D. Um, and then again. Okay? Up till here. So it was 5, 5, 5, A minor. 5, 5, 8 on the B string. E minor. 7, 3, 0. 0, 0. Uh, three times. And then this, okay, it's C with the high G again, 3 on the E string with your pinky, okay, pick it all, and then 3 more times, uh, the G note, and then 5, 3 on the E string, D, 
pick everything because your melody note is two on the E string for a change. Um, we haven't played the F sharp note since this. Okay, I really hope I'm not mistaken, but um, it wasn't prominent in the melody. Um, so now it's, it gets its place in the song, the F sharp note, because it's a strong note, um, leading us into G. Again, so that's the C part. So again, um, three to five, A minor, E minor. high G note, 5, 3, 2, D chord, and back to the verse, okay, or um, you can finish the way you started, or Again, this is your arrangement. You play whatever you want. If you want to go to the verse, go to the verse. If you want to finish, finish. If you want to go to the chorus, go to the chorus. If you want to go to the beginning, go to the beginning. If you want to finish on D, finish on D. If you want to uh, finish on a strange chord, you can do that too. Um, One of you may find G minor 6 appealing in this context. It's your arrangement. Anyway, you're done. Go practice this. But before you do, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go download the tab from the website. Um, everything, of course, is for free. The tab is for free. This lesson is for free. All the lessons are for free. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, you can send me requests as usual. I don't promise that I'll make uh, every song you request, uh, but, but I'll try. And um, of course, go to the website, download the tab. As I said, there's a donation button if you want to give something back to Lickenriff, and I'd be grateful for any donation whatsoever. And um, the dogs will be grateful because uh, usually um, people, people sometimes, not usually, people sometimes donate and tell me go buy the dog a biscuit, so they'll be happy as well. And um, I'll continue making lessons, you continue watching them and um, share them. If you want, you can share them with your friends, your family, your enemies, your dogs, your uh, imaginary friends, your cousins, your classmates, your pen pals, uh, the guys at work, the girls at work. Um, and I'll stop talking now and let you go practice. Go get this under your fingers, have fun, and let me know how it goes. Thank you very much for watching.